Learn how to join meshes like a pro in Blender with this easy to follow sculpting tutorial, perfect for beginners and experienced users alike. Here you can see our wheel mesh, it's made up of separate parts. Alright, let's hop into the Sculpt workspace and use the Sculpt tools to join everything together. Here's the Remesh tool in Sculpt mode, let's give it a try to join our mesh together. I'm setting the voxel size to 0.01 meters, but feel free to adjust it based on your PC. Just remember, smaller voxel size means higher resolution, and it can get pretty heavy on your system. Alright, let's hit the Remesh button and see what we get. As you can see, it's combined our mesh pretty well, but it didn't smooth out the edges. Right now, we could use Blender's sculpting tools to manually smooth and round everything, but honestly, that's a tedious and time-consuming process. Instead, let me show you a better and faster method. Let's go ahead and undo that by hitting Ctrl-Z real quick. Now let's go ahead and add a multi-resolution modifier from the Modifiers panel. Alright, so when we hit the Subdivide button, you can see it's making our mesh all round. That's because we didn't bevel the edges. No worries, let's delete the multi-resolution modifier for now. I'm going to use the bevel modifier instead, but you can also bevel the edges manually if you want. OK, time to apply the modifier. Alright, let's add a multi-resolution modifier and check out the result. You can see this time, it's preserved the edges really well. Let's apply this multi-resolution modifier, but it's not going to apply in Sculpt mode. So for that, we need to switch over to Object mode first. Alright, let's switch back to Sculpt mode to continue the process. Let's open up the Remesh drop-down menu once again and take a look. Now with this eyedropper tool, we can pick different detail sizes directly from the mesh. Super handy. So I grabbed the mesh detail from the center, and now let's tidy it up. I'm changing the voxel size from 0.0828 to 0.08. Feel free to tweak it depending on your PC's performance. Alright, let's hit that remesh button and see what we get. Now you can see it's joined our mesh really nicely, looking way cleaner now.